In this tutorial, we're going to go over working with PNG and JPEG files in Doodly. We'll also talk about transparency and why it's important. PNG and JPEG files are two common types of image formats, and Doodly allows you to import both types. While you may not have given much thought to their specifics, if you plan on importing your own graphics into Doodly, it's smart to know a little bit about them and their differences. PNG stands for Portable Network Graphic and is often referred to as Portable Graphics Format. It's an uncompressed 24-bit RGB raster image format, and it's very common. PNG files are excellent for use with Doodly because they can display a transparent background. JPEG stands for Joint Photographic Experts Group. JPEG is a compressed file format, so some image quality may be lost when creating or converting a file as a JPEG file. It's one of the most common image formats used. However, for doodly purposes, keep in mind that JPEG does not support transparency. So as far as doodly is concerned, the biggest difference to be aware of has to do with transparency. PNG files support it and JPEGs don't. So why do we care about transparency in doodly? Well, let's take a look at these two files once again. I have them on a color background so you can see the transparency. So the PNG file, instead of being a square or rectangle, you only have the unicorn himself. Everything underneath it can show through. Whereas with the JPEG file, the background shows up as white. Now, this is not a big deal when you're working with a one layer whiteboard scene, like this first one here, because the white background just kind of blends in with the whiteboard. However, if you'll notice here, I've got a colored scene and all of a sudden we see that white background and it may or may not be what you have in mind. We go back to this scene and I've got some rainbows here and I want the unicorn in front of it. Well, this looks great with the PNG because there's no background. But what if we took our JPEG and placed it here instead? Well, now that background is covering up the rainbow and it doesn't look good, does it? Wouldn't you say it looked better the way we had it before? Which was this with the rainbow showing behind it? So that is why we care about transparency in Doodly. So how do you get these PNG or JPEG files into Doodly in the first place? Well, let's go ahead and add some, okay? Add a new scene here. And I'm gonna go over to pixabay.com and find some graphics. So let's look for some frogs and let's choose illustrations. So now I have some cute frogs that I can add. So let's take this little guy and you'll see he comes with a transparent background automatically. And that's perfect for our PNG. So I'm gonna click download and I'm gonna click PNG, but I want to pay attention to the file size. Doodly requires your files to be 1920 by 1080 or less. So this file size will work. So we'll go ahead and download it and then come back into Doodly. Click on the props tab and then the blue plus sign. Now let's browse for the file. It should be in my downloads folder and it is. And I'm going to go ahead and bring him in. And here he is. He looks great. So let's see if we can find another frog. And here we have a JPEG. And 1920, this one will fit, fits within the right size for us. So I'm going to go ahead and click download and then come back in here, props, and then the plus sign, browse, frog, and here he is. And that's the basics of working with PNG and JPEG files in Doodly.